Hey everybody and welcome back to another lecture with Coding with Roby. In this lecture we're going to create a new API which is a get by ID for the books. So we're going to say get this book by this ID and just return one book from it. So the first thing we need to do is create a new API call. I'm going to do this right under our first app.get and we're going to have to start with using our app decorator dot get quotation marks and then I'm going to make the path slash book slash book ID and now that book ID needs to be in quotation marks and now right under this app we need to create a function I'm going to call this function read book so I'm going to type in async def read book And then book ID is going to be of type UUID. And now I'm going to write a loop that loops through all the books until we find a book with that ID. So I'm going to say 4x in books if x.id is equal to book ID. Then return x which is going to be resembling the book with the ID that matches the book ID that was passing through the API as a path parameter. All right, let's now save our file and let's open up our browser and refresh. First, I'm going to say read all books. I'm only going to do this because this will call our books list to append all of these books. We'll try it out, execute, and now we got all these four books. I now need to snag one of these UUIDs. And now let's head down to our book slash book ID, where we have a required path parameter of a UUID. If we don't pass anything in there, of course, Swagger is going to tell us that it's a required field and we're not allowed to call the API without it. So I'm going to paste in our UUID and now click execute. Immediately we can see that our get request is going to call our URL in port slash book slash the UUID and as a response we're going to get the book that matches that UUID. This wraps up our get request that has a specific ID attached so we can get a specific book based on the book ID and I will see you in the next video.